Hey, welcome aboard another video. Today I've got a big unboxing. No, I didn't win another giveaway, but I did use up some gift cards to order a bunch of film photography related supplies. Let's go inside and check out what I got. First up is a package from Freestyle Photographic all the way from sunny California. I'm really excited about this one because this has some stuff inside. It's going to be, I think, a game changer for me. Peanuts. Color Plus 200 from Kodak. This is not the game changer, but this is a fun film stock. You can get kind of a retro or vintage look. And it was 10% off. Here we have Psych Blues number three. This is Psychedelic Blues from Dustin Adams. And it's 400 speed film. This is color film that is pre exposed to light. So you get some funky color shifts and cool bands of colors on here. And uh, I like this one too because it's actually DX coded. Some of these specialty films, pre exposed films, are not DX coded. This one is. All right, now let's dig for the good stuff. This is the game changer right here. Sinisto CS41 Color Simplified Color Chemistry for Developing. And I actually have two of these kits. Somehow I've lived 50 years without developing my own color film and now I've finally decided to take the plunge. I started watching some color developing videos here on YouTube by Max Shoots Film and SRAD, The Real Sir Robin, and I'll probably go ahead and put a link to some of those videos down below in the description. But I decided for myself, you know what? It's now or never. I gotta do this. I've got a stockpile of about 10 color rolls I shot in Tennessee and here in Ohio. And uh, now that I have these kits, I'm finally gonna develop these rolls. One more thing in here. Ah, the tried and true Sinisto DF96 Monobath. And this, of course, I use for my black and white. This, I think, is probably my third jug of the Sinisto DF96. And uh, it's super easy to use. Love it. All right, I want to take a closer look at the Sinisto CS41 Color Simplified Color Chemistry Kit. A look inside here. Some instructions here. A few notes about mixing the chemicals, processing the film. Another little card here, standard processing steps for hand tank or dip and dunk. And looks like some notes about push and pull processing here on the back. And let's take a look at some of these chemicals. And Sinistil makes it easy by color coding everything. Here we have the color developer, part A, in red. And some more red bottles. Parts B and C, so the red ones stick together. That's all a developer. All right, blue one here, we've got the Blix. Bleach and fixture, that's part A. And part B and part C. Again, all the blues go together, blicks. 
Then this must be stabilizer. Final rinse, just one bottle for that one. Here we have a box from Fairlawn, New Jersey. That's right, this one's from the good folks at the FPP. Let's open her up. Here we have two rolls of the Yotica Polaris film. Now this one is another one of those specialty films pre-exposed to light. And this one is supposed to give you some funky blue shifts to your images. This one's 36 exposures, 400 speed film. This one is not DX coated, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and throw this in one of my Canon EOS bodies. We have the Elan 7NE. This was also 10% off and should be a lot of fun. All right, there's one more big thing in the box here. Haha, <laughs> FPP stickers and the FPP heat helper. Temperature assist for your FPP C41, E6, and black and white chemistry. So inside here, this is an immersion circulator that's used for sous vide cooking to maintain consistent temperatures. Of course, I'm gonna use it for my film chemistry here, especially that color chemistry I just opened here a minute ago. Sinisto has their TCS temperature control system with a couple more bells and whistles, but it's also twice the price of this, so I ended up going with the FPP heat helper instead. Plus, I already got the Sinisto C41 kits and the Monobath, and I didn't want to look like a total Sinisto fanboy. All right, let's take a closer look at the FPP heat helper. Power precision cooker, sous vide method of cooking. Power precision cooker, as seen on TV. Ensures even cooking, retains moisture, no overcooking, and good for developing film too. Got some setup, quick instructions here. <laughs> See a little cookbook in there too. Ah, here's the main unit. The plug, let's go ahead and open it up. Here it is. It's got a clip so you can Put it on the side of your container, hold it in place. You'll be able to read the temperature there. Looks like I should have everything I need to give this color chemistry a whirl. And finally, we've got an eBay auction I won, and this one comes from Fort Worth, Texas. A bunch of film here. There's that FPP logo.
one of my favorite stocks ever. This is the Eastman XX 5222. And again, also DX coated. I think there's a few rolls of that in here. Yep, there's another one of double X. And another one. Great, three rolls of the double X. And I think there's a couple more rolls here. Ah, uh, there's the Arista EDU Ultra. 200 speed, black and white film, 36 exposures. And one more. And this one is Fuji Color 200. Not a bad little haul. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any tips for color development at home, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.